So Jerry, how you doing? Oh, I'm fine. This is where they brought Baird, so it's a little... Baird? Yeah, Baird, my husband. Shiv's godfather. Oh, does he, um, does he, um with the tortoise? Yeah. Fuck yeah, of course. How is he? He's dead. Yeah, no, I know, I, I remember. Ew. So, uh, Jerry, I uh, just wanted to say thanks for uh, captaining us through this shit storm. Um, you do a good job, Jerry. You, uh, you're, um, you know, you're a real good job doers. If I suck at the whole, like, corporate flirt thing, I, I, you know, I just, I, I'd like to lube up and fuck, you know? Okay. Okay, so, um, for me and Shiv, the whole Kendall thing doesn't work. So we were thinking, General Counsel, you know where the bodies are buried. You probably buried them yourself. <laughs> so you would have the family support to step in and take the reins. Well, that's a very generous offer, but I'm right. going to have to decline. Um, okay, can, uh, can I ask why? Why I don't want the job that makes your brain explode? Okay, but, um, uh, <laughs> Jerry, excuse me, uh, but I, I, I've always thought of you, and I, I mean this in the best possible way, as a stone-cold killer bitch. Who says you don't know how to flirt? Can I suggest something? Yeah? Can I suggest we all take our shirts off? Okay, Kendall. You know, they can write a fucking algorithm to run this place, but that's not the answer. That's not us. So, break shit up. Like, just disrupt. What are you doing? Taking my shirt off, that's all. Ken, make yeah. him put his shirt on. I don't, uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't fucking know. I, shirt I, off. I, I... Shirt off. Shirt's off. Shirt's off. How about your jacket off? Come on, man. Yeah, all right, all right. Good. That's all. Let's go. Okay. So, worst position, we sell down the stock, we survive. Maybe we cut a title or two from physical production, newspaper-wise, online only. Well, that is a like that. $20 million solution to a billion-dollar problem. Yeah, but it's the right direction of travel. That feels yeah. right to me. Well, if you want stuff that works for the price, layoffs. Yum, yum. Blood! Yes, see? Shirts off shit. Pink pot. Like, are we doing this? Are we running a fucking company together or what? Like, just because I like a joke doesn't mean I'm a fucking clown. Look, Rome, I'm just trying to... I got it. I know you're not a clown. I'm not. It's delicate. Oh, it's delicate? Oh, I didn't realize it was delicate, the little nuances. And the... Warts fucking hates you, man. He does. And he likes you? Yeah, he likes me. People like me. I look like a matador and everyone wants to fuck me. I see him around. I know the guy. Trust me. Hey, do you think maybe you can fetch me something stronger to... Oh, yes, it'd be my absolute pleasure. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, what's up? Can I, uh, can I help? Um, I'm very busy with, um, <clears throat> on another matter. But are you across this? I've had 40 calls about the launch. Mm -mm. No, that's weird. I haven't gotten any, I don't think. Yeah, it blew up. It blew up? Yes, it exploded on the launch pad. Um, okay. It's weird. Um, yeah, wow, they really should have told me that. That's, um, that's naughty. Um, how uh, bad is it? Is it bad? I'll reiterate. It exploded <laughs> on the launch pad. So, yeah, that's, I'd say that's bad. Are there, like, um, uh, people? Dead people? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yes, I mean, the scale means there's likely casualties. It's very unclear. Mm -hmm. Because I did put a lot of pressure to accelerate the launch, even though there were concerns. You did. I did, yeah. Oh, fuck. I mean, I just thought it would be nice for it to happen on Shiv's wedding day, like fireworks, like big fireworks. Well, you got that right. I'm just telling you because I sent a lot of emails about it, and I, you know, there's no use hiding that because I, I'm just saying, I. I just want to say I think it's for you to know as general counsel, so uh, so you can um, protect me. Well, 
I can try. But fuck, you're looking at potential corporate manslaughter. And, you know, frankly, uh, what also became obvious was there are some unstable personalities involved uh, with this deal. Mm, I'm Kendall, and, and I'm a say, sassy little uh, bitch. What do you think? What's this, going on? I thought he was really benched. Not about me. Oh, what the f what's he saying? We got shitty Wi-Fi. He looks weird, right? He looks demented. Why is he so shiny? Why do you have shitty Wi-Fi? We wanted a place without Wi-Fi. I mean, to me, he looks like a fucking joke, but what would an average Joe think? Ah, how the mighty are fallen. He was a king once, now look at him. Eating shit with feet of clay. A fucking neutered hound dog. I think he did okay. Oh, yes, he did great. He did just fine. But Jesus, Elvis on the fucking toilet. Like, he doesn't come back from this, right? Like, he just walked around the New York Stock Exchange with this severed dick in his hand asking where it was good for free soup. <laughs> he just ate the big dog dick, sucked that pooch bone dry. In terms of this investigation, we will explore how and why this occurred. And we plan for the most thorough internal investigation ever seen. Uh, one for Roman Roy. When will no, the no, investigation no. start and no. any issues that are looking like it's likely causes? Um, well, on, a, on the timing, right away. We take this incredibly seriously. Um, and as for, um, uh, as for determination of the cause, we just don't want to speculate. And I don't want to be facetious, but Sarah, on that point, I'm not a rocket scientist. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, Director Sato, one more question. Is Waystar Royka ready to accept liability? Will there be a financial settlement offered to the victim's families? I'm very sorry for this. I'm very sorry for this. Holy shit. Did you get the text? Did you get this? Is this for real? Yeah, I got it. So? It went woody. Thank you. No, nope, I can do that. Thanks. Uh, they're, they're waiting for you. So? So, hurry up. So Frank's my fucking babysitter again. <laughs> my dad is killing me. He's cutting my fucking balls off. I can't do my buttons. I'm really fucking made of soap. Come here. You know, if I were capable of any sudden movement, I would totally pounce on you right now. Uh, yeah? Yep. I actually hear that a lot. Usually from men in their 90s. We have to do that one. <clears throat> How are you doing? Terrible. Pretty awful. Mm -hmm. I'm blaming Tabitha, by the way. It was her idea. Next time you need business advice, ask someone who knows what they're talking about. What, you? Yeah, like me. Okay, well, how do I get him to take me seriously? Grow a mustache and read the journal? I'll fucking do it. Okay, moment, if you will now. Mm -hmm. Do the management training program, uh, ground floor. Work in a slaughterhouse. Learn the price of a gallon of milk. What the fuck is his obsession with milk? You know who drinks milk? Kittens and perverts. Committed to making employment decisions based on valid requirements and without regards to race, color, religion, or religious creed, age, national origin, ancestry, gender, gender identity, gender expression, sex. What the fuck happened with the video? What do you mean? I'm being cut. It's me and some satellites for like three seconds. I'll find out. It's not a big deal, Jerry. I don't care how many minutes I get. It's just a message it sends. Sure thing. I get it. So, uh, how is it going? Oh, amazing. I'm. Stripping back to basics. This is my white album. Is it very horrible in America? Oh, yes. It's glorious. Yeah, no amount of antibacterial gel is going to be able to wipe the America off me. This is good for you, Ron. Yeah, I know. I'm going to grow up and become a real little boy and learn the price of an egg and do phone sex with my girlfriend like a normo. You'll be fine. Just be brave, okay? Yes, Mommy. Leading many to wonder, what is the best way to explain this tragedy to children? Pierce News contributor David Stanton joins us. David, first off, are we obligated? 
Roman, what is it now? You know, I'm still pissed off they didn't give me any good footage. Seriously? They treated me like I'm a piece of shit. You are a piece of shit. Fuck you. I found a rough diamond out here, and I want to bring him back with me. Fast track him. Also, you should build my ride, bitch. I'll email you. It's genius. No, no. You're not building a ride that you came up with on your first day of management training, Roman. Well, you should. I am an ideas fountain. You're acting like an overexcited little boy. You know, technically, I'm your fucking boss. Go to bed, Roman. Go to bed and masturbate all your ideas out, and let's see how excited you feel tomorrow. Well... Maybe. Maybe I will. I mean, maybe I'll just leave you on the pillow so you can hear my brilliance cascading. Fine. I've heard plenty worse than a spoiled brat ejaculating on himself. Oh, uh, yeah? You sure about that? I could be doing it now for all you know. Well, get going. Chop, chop. <laughs> you disgusting little pig. You are pathetic. You are a revolting little worm, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I am. You little slime puppy. Yes. Yeah, what else am I? You're a revolting worm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry, uh, I have to Please, my lady. Chivalry is not, you know, blah, blah, blah. Shit before the shovel. Allow me to do the shit. Hi. Good God. I was hoping that we could touch base about my entire future being Hindenburg. Oh, the humanity. Come in and fuck off. This is loitering. And I'm not available 24 hours a day like an ATM. Did you know about Shiv? No. I mean, uh, I didn't know, no, but... Anybody who wasn't a fucking moron would have figured it out. Yeah, got it. Do you have any booze? There you go. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thanks. If you have any, uh, mm. suggestions for what I should do for the rest of my life, I'm all ears. Well, I'm getting great reports from the training program. No shit. Amazing. Yes. Fuck yeah. Training program. Maybe one day I can be in charge of making the roller coaster go. All right, drink up because you know it's bedtime. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Unless you want to schedule one of our special conference calls for say right now. Excuse me. Hi. Wait, is that why you're here? Mm mm. No, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. No. Jesus Christ. Roman, this is unacceptable. This is completely inappropriate. Yeah? What would your family say if they knew you were here? Well, what would my family, Jimmy, fuck corn, I don't care. Yeah, but you do care. No. Yeah, I know you do. And they would be ashamed of you. And rightly so. Okay, I'm very sorry, Jerry. No, you don't get to speak. You have always been a disappointment, but this is just, you have gone beyond the pale. I have? Oh, yeah. You know what you are? What am I? You are a sick fuck. You are a sick fucking animal. Yeah? Yeah, don't look at me. Get in that bathroom. Now. Go on. And you will stay in there until you have done something with yourself. You have a problem, Roman. A revolting problem in your head. This is why you'll never be anything but a disgrace. A rotten little nothing. Jesus Christ, you are a classic fuck up, Roman. What are we gonna do about you? What if they could see you now? 
So did anybody uh, anybody get into any fun last night? Or? Um, fun? I jerked off in Jerry's bathroom last night. Oh. Yeah. So classy of you. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It was actually her idea. I think it really got the old gal's juices flowing. Even as a joke, that is a stomach-turning thought. <laughs> hey, Ron. Hey. You see that guy as Garolf? Oh, Edward, yeah? Your dad is intrigued by sounding out big money in the event that the pier steel goes under. That's a done deal, though, right? Yeah, I don't know. Could you start a conversation in case we need an emergency exit, white night, go private? With Edward and his loafers made from the skin of, I don't know, what is that, human rights activist? <laughs> uh huh. His dad has a hose attached to the central bank. He's apparently conceptualizing a 300-year investing horizon. So this is what, makeup sex? This is you grinding yourself against me and saying sorry for not telling me about Shiv and Dad? Oh, man, your dad wanted Tom on this. I said you. Come on, please. I don't know what the world is going to look like in 36 hours. Just, just do what you can. How'd it go? Uh, he might be good for infinite billions, but he wants a front news channel to spew propaganda. Are we into that? Well, I guess. Depends on the numbers. Right. Plus the whole. I mean, obviously it's an ethical minefield. Sure, of course. But if we took a position of fuck it? No, that's an interesting ethical position. Silo it off? But what is it? Why has he got me chasing this? He still hasn't told you? Pathetic, isn't it? I don't know. I can't say. Right, of course. Of course not. You know, right now, if, you know, if anything happens to him, you're on the piece of paper as the next ruler of the kingdom. Mm, I think I've been made well aware of how unlikely it is that will transpire. Sure, right. But you know how you're so efficient and good at your job. Well, thank you. But also sort of like invisible, like wallpaper, like a boring old sort of nothing, like a competent kind of clever filing cabinet that everyone seems content to have around. Uh-huh. And I'm like a fucking rock star moron. Right. I mean, obviously, these are our public profiles, not our true essences. I have thoughts, but continue. Well, just floating, like, is there an angle here for a team up? Like, me, kind of a Jagger, Tarzan, fronting things up and swinging through trees with my little dick, singing and killing shit, and you, back home, cooking us soup and making sure the numbers are right. Huh? Rock star and the mole woman? Wow, you're really selling me. But it would be chair and CEO. Or CEO and chair. And you will get properly, fuck you, fuck you, I don't even care about climate change. I'm a New Zealand with my own private army rich. Not like some pathetic asshole beach house on the vineyard rich. It's late. Off you go. Thanks, mole woman. Thanks, rock star. Night, night. The shareholders want a CEO successor named before the shareholder meeting. They have made that clear. Mm -hmm. So if you're serious about us as a dream ticket, it'd be smart to be able to preempt any bad stuff that could come out if you came under the spotlight. Okay, okay. What do you want me to just tell you all the terrible things that I, Roman Roy, have ever done? How would you feel if I had some oppo research done? See what a tenacious bottom feeder could grub up on you. I'd say that sounds like fun. Oh. So, are you hearing anything majorly major about big shit or whatever through the shit vine? In what sense? In the sense of the little blonde goblin. Is she about to gobble up all the power? So 
So, um, Frank is concerned. He says this feels like something new. Yeah, but he does this, right, Dad? I mean, remember when he bought that chick a harp? Oh, Sally Ann? She didn't even know how to play it. This is something else. He's losing focus. Out to dinner four nights a week. The shareholder vote is going to be close. The board gets replaced, it'll be a clean sweep. We could do with options. Mm -hmm. I've made sure that Edward is invited. Could you seduce? Uh, I don't know. Do you find me seductive? I can give him a rim. I could rim with Vim. Could they take us private? Uh, they want us to open up a propaganda news operation. Is that serious, Roman? We get the money, boom. Much less oversight. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I, uh, I will talk to him then. Oh, and um, one more thing real quick. Should we get married? What? You know, not that, like uh, an equivalent to uh, the thing, like I abduct you and force you to live with me. Uh, that's not equivalent. Well, then you kill me, you chop my dick off, you know, something. I'm kidding, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, you eat me, I eat you, like they do in Germany. Anyway, a lot to think about. I get it, so let it. Bye. Um, uh, Jerry Kelman. Jerry. 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 Jerry alert. Saying no. Hey. Here they are, the heroes of Asia, Asia Minor. Wow. <laughs> the Lions of Turkey. Hey. Hey. Good to see you, man. Hey. 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 Welcome back, hey. man. Hey, you're back like Odysseus. Did you ride out on sheep? I heard you took down an army alone, bro. That would have been really traumatizing if we weren't already so fucked up. Who'd you suck off to get out? You were staying in the Four Seasons, right? Was how did you escape? Did you did you like build a glider out of a Caesar salad? <laughs> oh, well. uh, you know what? Uh, it was actually fucking scary, and we thought that they might kill us. But yeah. Well, who do you want to Caesar salad? Sorry, dude. No, it's all right. Seriously. How are you feeling? Sick, anxious. Why is he doing it like this, do you think? How do you mean? We're all pals here. Let's have a discussion. Like he suddenly wants our views because he loves advice. It's running a show trial. Mm -hmm. Get the whole Politburo to sign the death warrant. Then all our hands are bathed with blood. Well, that's nice and lovely. Ooh, no reception. Death cruise? How are you thinking? You know what? What? Frank. And here's gonna be you. Yeah, screw you. What have you heard? I got a book going. You wanna put a million on yourself? I'll give you four to one odds. Make that ride home much sweeter. Okay, are we, what, what exactly are we hearing here? I'm hearing Frank. Uh-huh. Yeah. What do you mean, uh -huh? He's bullshitting. Well, it's plausible. It's plausible. You're plausible. Hey, I didn't say I wasn't. No, you're actually a prime candidate. Six to one. This, this, this is horrible. Roman, we're real people. You are not. You claim to be real, but look at you. Look at you. Uh, you know, Jerry is theoretically kind of perfect. Here, here. Uh, no. Theoretically, no. That's bullshit. I disagree. No. Why? Why do I disagree? Because that's my opinion. Yeah, but your reasoning. Seriously, Jerry, to pay for cruises, we, we take out a senior woman? Haven't we, you know, kidding here, killed enough women already? 